Fair use purpose, by the way. Fair use only. All right, not making any money or profit off of this. All right, this is solely for educational and edification purposes only. All right, so yeah, man, you saw that. <clears throat> you saw that. All right. Shalom, Kal Halal, La Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Recha Hakwadash. Double honor to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone who rule and teach Yasha Allah well through the Spirit, leading the flock by example. Peace, blessings, and citations to the Bayath Shah Dawada, which is the house of David. The tabernacle of David scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth, beginning with the 144,000, the governing body. Adwan Ratazar, which means Lord willing. So, Lord willing, by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. And, uh, yeah, <clears throat> that woman was hella cray-cray, all right? So damn crazy, all right? And of course, you had other, you know, incidents of different, you know, passengers getting into it as well. But I my primary focus is on that, you know, end up, all right? <clears throat> All right, so the so-called uh, black woman, all right, which I perceive her to be, you know, an Israelite woman, all right. And you can see, man, she had a plethora of demons on her, okay. You see? Screaming like that, carrying on like that, okay. That's, you see, this is why the elder apostles of the Great Millstone, as well as the elders and Akimon down, all right, warn you to stay away from her, man, okay. That's why she's the least desired woman to get married, okay. It's that filthy attitude. All right. Okay. Embarrasses you and things like that. Shows you up in public. All right. She has that masculine energy. Who wants to deal with that? What what man wants to deal with that? You see, the end of, all right, could not carry on like this in Islamic countries. I could tell you that. Okay. They could not behave like this in, let's say, Dubai. All right. Or Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Imagine if she was doing that there. No oh idea. Oh dear. All right, disrupting the whole flight, man. All right, ruining these people's travels. No need for it, man. Behaving like a, a beast, an uncivilized creature. What the hell? Imagine, you know, there, there'll be children on that play, man. You know, families and that, and they have to put up with that. Proverbs chapter 9, verse 13. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. All right, and when you go into the word clamorous, Right, in Hebrew, <clears throat> uh, Strong's H1993 concordance number, and it's a uh, Hama, right? Going into the outline of biblical usage, going into to murmur, growl, roar. That's exactly what you're doing, growling, roaring like some animal in the in the wild. Cry aloud, mourn, rage. She was raging. You see her eyes, looking pulsating out of her, her face, out of her head all right make noise sound tumult be clamorous be disquieted be loud that's what she was doing just being loud and, and being difficult to, to to just deal with be moved to be troubled be in an uproar to growl murmur roar to be in a stir to be in commotion to be boisterous be turbulent all right carrying on like that okay so avoid her and women like that man that wildebeest okay avoid you know, loud, roaring, boisterous woman like that, man. Okay. She wasn't. She was just screaming. She wasn't even talking. See what I mean? Let's get the book of uh, <clears throat> Sirach, chapter twenty-five. And verse seventeen. And it reads, I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. Right? You'd rather, you'd rather be with a, a ferocious beast like a, a, a lion. Alright? Okay. Than to be around that. See what you... Honestly. At least with a lion, you know what, you, you, you know what you're up against. Alright? But, jeez. telling you. See, just look at her face, honestly. 
Sirach chapter 26 verse 25. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. What's a female dog? A B-I-T-C-H. Alright, that's what she is. Acting like as well. But she that is shamefaced will fear the Lord. Yeah, she, she's no fear in the Lord of her. Okay. Behaving like a B-I-T-C-H. You know, I just want to keep this YouTube friendly, family friendly. Alright. And it's a big grown woman too, man. Alright. Not no little kid. Let's get the uh, etymology of the word clamorous. Alright. Uh. Let's spell it again. Uh, clamorous. Let's go with the clamor anyway. Clamor, noun. Okay. Late 14th century, a great outcry, loud or urgent demand. From old French, clamour, call, cry, appeal, outcry. Exactly, a shout, a loud call, that's what she was doing. Okay. Who oh, God knows what. You see? You know, they always got to, you know, um, show up themselves in public and, and start, you know, behaving, you know, badly. Okay, demand things and stuff like that. All right. But we'll get the definition as well. I'll get it on another device. Uh, it's real quick because this tablet can be slow. All right. Yeah, man. You you want you don't want to take someone like that on a date, or you know, go out with her, someone like that, man. You avoid that. Okay. And if you start acting up, man, just leave. Honestly. Definition of the word clamorous from the Oxford Dictionary. Alright. Noise, loud, vocal, that's similar words, making a loud and confused noise, right? Yeah, so I know you get the point, but just wanted to get those, get that out. Alright. There's no need for that, man. No need. You see? You, know, you got the, uh, you, know, you jakes in the black conscious community that upl uplift. So called black woman, you see, you know, you're like you're like your Dr. Yuma Johnson, but you know, no real man wants to put up with that. All right, let's get Proverbs chapter 21, and verse 9. <clears throat> and it reads, It is better to dwell in a corner of the housetop than with a brawling woman in a wide house. So you're better off just being away from that, all right, completely. Go to verse 19. It is better to dwell in the wilderness, in the wild, right, than with a contentious and an angry woman. See? Scriptures don't lie, man. Okay? Save yourself a headache. Save yourself the aggro, the, the, the problems. Okay? Honestly. Proverbs chapter 7, verse 11. She is loud and stubborn. Right, so won't take heed, won't follow instructions, all right? Her feet abide not in the house, you see? They always want to go out, go places, just to be seen, man. They, they want all that attention, okay? They want to be all up in the mix, they want to be all loud and everything in things that they do, okay? That's the modern westernized woman, that's them, especially the B-L-A-C-K woman, okay? The Israelite woman, starting with the, the Judite woman, okay? <clears throat> You know, on down, even you know, you 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 know, the kingdom woman are like that too because you, you know, you pick it up her ways, the so called BLACK woman's ways, all right. But the Judite woman, man, no, yeah, not all of them, of course, but that's just the modern, that, that's just the the majority of them, of these modern ones, man, all right. You know, you have your, you know, your few decent ones out there, all right. But that's a handful, man, okay, okay. It's rare, it's rare to have one of them, all right. But her, oh dear, headache, all right. See, everyone can hear her, hear her man, all right. Next thing you know, your, your blood pressure's gone up again, <laughs> pure stress dealing with that, public disturbance as well, 
okay, against the law, screaming in a public place, you know, that, that can even lead to a riot, see, so these are the type of things, type of situations you want to stay clear of, you want to avoid, okay, you know, breaking the rules, it's really just disgusting.